It is not every day that you get to hang out with real scientists. Well, we do with Chris. Yeah, kinda, we do. Right? <laughs> yeah. It's especially not every day you get to try what they do. ABC 6 News reporter Sydney Zatt shows us how the Hormel Institute is inspiring the next generation of scientists. The Hormel Institute hosted more than 100 students on Tuesday to train the newest generation of scientists, including myself. Kids doing science experiments at the Hormel Institute might seem like a stretch. Tuesday, it was all about making it young scientists friendly with the microscope station, liquid nitrogen experiments, and the strawberry DNA extraction lab. It's cool to see like how your favorite food like develops its DNA. And it's just, I like to smoosh things. There's still a little bit of dry ice left in here, so I There are a lot of questions and wow moments for the young scientists. If one kid goes home and they can um, tell their brother, sister, parent, grandparent, one thing that they learned or um, we get that one child that they have gotten something. Um, something I learned was probably like the different animals and little creatures and stuff inside of so many different things. While she was busy learning about animals, I took some time to learn how to extract DNA from a strawberry. Yes, a strawberry. Open the filter. This is so satisfying, right? <laughs> this is the second time this year the Institute brought in young scientists to try experiments, and they're hoping to do it more. If they just one student took something away, that is really going to be a win. So the big question, do we have some future scientists? I'm choosing between a zookeeper and a scientist because like my dad kind of wants to play with the seals in a zoo and then I also kind of want to, I also, and I also love animals, but then I also love research and science. Um, a little bit, I kind of want to be a scientist when I'm older. This seems pretty interesting. Science was never my strong suit, but I'm starting to rethink things. In Austin, Sydney Zatz, ABC 6 News.